Hello guys, today I have a Duracraft heat giant electric space heater. Uh, got this from an old um, office, but yeah. So today we're gonna be doing a small test before I clean it tomorrow or sometime in the week and it's gonna get cleaned this week. But we're just doing a mate test to make sure your heating element works. It's already plugged in, the heater's in pretty good condition. Unfortunately, that's the match those lights can go up to because I'm out of light bulbs, but um, yeah. This is a very high quality heater. It's pretty much entirely made out of metal. The only plastic I can find is the knobs and this handle. Other than that, it seems like a, oh, and those, um, the light covers, those are neon bulbs. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with fan only. And this is one of these little child lock things. So you gotta like press it in because if you twist normally, it doesn't do anything. That works, but you gotta like you gotta press it in. It just seems like a waste. And now you have to turn the dermostat up a little bit. Kind of quiet. Yeah, it's actually very quiet though. It's not loud. You know, like those modern milk house heaters. It's actually not that loud. This one's very quiet. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and turn it on low heat for the, I don't even know. All right, let's see. All right, we have a drop in the voltage and I do feel hot air coming out. It's probably gonna stink really bad. So let me make sure this, deal, this door is sealed up so the fire alarm doesn't go off. It really doesn't stink. Wow. You know what, that's not bad. I may use this down here. I may use this down here. I still have that, but I may start to use this down here. This is pretty nice. It's not that hot. It's actually just hot enough. On low, it's actually just hot enough. That's really nice. I'm gonna if I should use this in my room or if I should just use it down here. Yeah, that's throwing out some a nice deal of heat. That's that's warm enough for me. Let's go to medium. Fan is slowing down because of the voltage. Let me turn off the incandescent. Hopefully, there. All right, it's pushing out even more heat. It actually doesn't smell as bad as I die would. I'm not going to let it run for too long, though, no, because um, I don't want that dust to get baked on there. And high heat, which I probably don't even know about ever using them high. That is very hot air. That's very hot. It's not like ceramic hot. It's not as hot as those ceramic PTC heaters, but that that is really nice. This is a very high quality heater. Turn on a flashlight real quick. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna do that once it comes off a little. All right, so this is perfectly functional. This is a '94 Duracraft. I can't flip it over. Actually, let's actually test the flip over switch. Yep, that works. Ooh. It's a manual. It's one of the early models. It's just um, I don't. I think it may be a lead weight on a uh, on a um, pedestal or something. I'm not sure how it works, but yeah. Oh, that is really good. This would be great on the floor. You see, I wish they still made heaters like this. Cause look, it's entirely made out of metal, so no stupid plastic. Uh, I'm not sure what if there's any bad materials in here, but I highly doubt it. So I may just use this down here. Now the heat is rising up quite quickly and it's not moving nearly as much air as that does. But other than that, this is a pretty sweet heater. Yeah, that, is, that is some serious heat. Let's go back down to fan mode. Let it cool down. Oops, thermostat satisfied.
look at this. This is very high quality. Extremely dusty as dust pretty much just has caked. And there's a dust bunny down there. That's the intake down there. It's just like it was like it was a giant dust ball. For some reason the camera stopped recording, but we have lots of airflow. You can see the back of the neon bulb in there. I'm not sure what type of motor it is. I don't know. I can't see it. So we have to wait. Hopefully it is a C-frame because those C-frame motors seem to last a long time. I'm just going to let this cool off all the way. These metal heaters are so much better than the plastic. I don't want to extend this video too long, but I got, that's a broke, that's a busted one. That needs to get desperately cleaned out and I have to find a, um, a new pedestal for that. Then I may, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do after that, but yeah. I don't really have any other useful one, but it'll probably be better than a stupid one. And it was used by another family member. That heater down there was used by another family member, which makes it one of my favorite types of products. Family hand-me-downs are my absolute favorite. It is a piece of junk, but um, I just need to get a new stand for that. And it will pretty much be good to go. That's literally all it needs. It's just one piece of plastic. So I'm just still trying to find a part for it. And hopefully I can find a busted one at the drift store or one that's broken on the eBay. But yeah. very high quality this thing is i gotta say this may be the best electric heater i have it's, it's very quiet those motor windings are pretty much brand new that is extremely quiet listen to that extremely quiet it looks like a heater that would go inside the wall it's almost this may be um almost industrial i may actually let this run while i sleep that's something extremely rare you'll get from me. But I may let this run when sleeping. This plastic heater? Uh, I don't know. But this one's entirely out of plastic. Even that blade in there is plastic. This this used to be the downstairs heater. Until I switched to um, this one, which is also plastic. So who knows? If I need a metal heater down here, I'll just use this nice old Derek Craft. And we have the uh, infamous caution, right? Oh man. All right, let's cool off for now. All right, well. Yep, that is a Duracraft heat giant. I've seen this under Honeywell too. I just need to get some more information off this thing to make sure that there's no recalls on it. But I don't know why there would really be a recall on something this high quality. There's the info. It is uh, made in China, great. But is the model CZ2104. Uh, 60 hertz, 1500 watt. In a number that I doubt works because this is made in um, 96. All right, so it was a 1996 Duracraft heater. Those those heaters from the from those I just swear this thing's probably gonna last a long time. Anyway, that's enough ranting. Uh, let me get this light back on. Whoops. Let's get the light back on. Thanks for watching. Need to get a thumbnail. But thanks for watching.